In episode two, we covered the first three days of a 10-day Vipassana retreat, where you develop concentration through the practice of anapana. On the morning of the fourth day, you are asked to continue paying attention to the area below the nostrils and above the upper lip, but this time observe any sensations, whether or not they seem directly related to breathing. Many people by this time have begun to experience a variety of sensations around their face. Later that morning, you are formally introduced to the practice of Vipassana. You are asked to observe whatever sensations manifest, for example, perspiration, tingling, throbbing, itching, whatever, and not to conjure up, expect, or wish for any sensation in particular. You do so in a systematic way, starting at the top of your head and working your way down to the tips of your toes. To begin with, you pay attention to palm size areas on the various parts of your body, always passing over the body in the same order. Most people have some spots where they don't experience any sensation, and that's okay too. You simply rest your attention on each spot for a period of time, and note any sensations, or lack thereof, and then move on to the next part. This is more difficult than it may sound. Often there is a part of your body that is screaming out for you to pay attention. For me, it's usually my lower back or my knees that are just hurting. You're asked to just move your attention according to the routine. Often, you feel a sense of frustration at your inability to feel any sensation. But you're asked to just let go of that frustration and move systematically. Sometimes if the sensations or your thoughts or your emotions get too strong for you to continue, you just bring your attention back to the breath in the nostril and upper lip area until you're ready to resume the practice. While earlier, during the first few days of Anapana, there was no restriction on moving, there are now a few times during the day when you're asked not to move at all during your meditation. In the next video, I'll explain a little bit more about that.